the city of Lvov in the northwestern corner of Ukraine, July 27, 2002. The military airfield was crowded with people who came to see an air show with real military aircraft. Though in seconds, their innocent fun would turn into sheer terror and death for entire families. The scene on the ground turned into chaos and pandemonium. But we'll get to that in a moment. The first aircraft to appear was an AN-2, making a circle over the field, dropping paratroopers. Then, two Yak-52 sport aircraft did some aerobatic stunts. The audience, mostly composed of children and their parents, cheered the performance. Then, an Su-27 fighter appeared over the airfield. It was the most anticipated machine at the show, a real working jet fighter. At a low altitude, it screamed overhead, then made a turn and flew back to the airfield. The pilots were going to make a high-flying stunt called an oblique loop with a turn. No one had any idea what would happen next. Suddenly, the pilots realized they were in too low for the trick. The fighter jet started to drift lower and lower, almost touching the ground. The pilots tried to pull up to a safe altitude, but, tragically, one of the wings struck an IL-76 parked in the field. The Su-27 went out of control and smashed into the ground, with its pilots ejecting mere seconds before it was too late. Unfortunately, it was too late for so many people that day. The out-of-control aircraft kept going right into the spectators. The burning plane slid sideways on one wing through a thick crowd of people. After plowing through a number of them, the aircraft toppled over and exploded. The 20-ton fighter smashed everything in its path, injuring and killing people with the rain of debris, incinerating dozens of men, women, and children as the burning jet fuel splashed out of its tanks. When the wrecked plane finally ended its deadly run, a bloody trail of dismembered body parts marked its gruesome path through the crowd. What started out as a day of innocent fun had turned into anything but. 77 people perished at the Lvov Air Show that day, including 28 children, though both pilots of the killer plane survived. The scene on the ground is chaotic and awful as the horrible realization of what's just taken place sets in. Parents and children are in shock. In the blink of an eye, entire families have been wiped out. For those that haven't, many have been irreparably damaged. An investigation committee was set up and eventually came to the conclusion that everything happened because of pilot error, as the pilots had violated the airshow performance schedule and had crossed into the show's no-fly zone. Still, the pilots vehemently maintained their innocence. Vladimir Toponar, who commanded the unfortunate Su-27, says he never hit the eject button and tried to get the plane back into the air until the last fatal moment. It turned out that the second pilot, Yuri Yegorov, was the one to press the ejection button. Afterwards, he was sentenced to eight years in prison, while Vladimir Toponar, who was in charge of actually flying the jet, was imprisoned for 14 years. Whoever, in the end, was at fault here, to this day, the Lvov Airshow tragedy remains the worst disaster of its kind in Russian history. The effect on the families is still very much felt to this day.